Chris, what is our second main topic today? Our second topic comes from Warren L. I'm not usually one to get terribly excited about documentaries, but this one gets me excited. Disney announced that a documentary on Stan Lee is coming in 2023. I don't think I'm exaggerating in saying the man is the godfather of the entire comic book movie genre and 90% of pop culture. He's a legend, and I'm so hyped for this. What are your expectations for it? All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, Warren. And, you know, after the, the sad and tragic passing of Stan Lee, a lot of people immediately started asking the question. I still remember the day after. People had, when's a documentary coming? Or a biopic. Either a biopic or a documentary. When is that going to be happening? And we all said, well, we know it's coming. We know it's going to be coming. And while they're not going to talk about it right now because it's too soon, you know some interns are being directed right now in the darker corners of the Disney offices start pulling the research together for a Stan Lee biopic. Right. You, you knew they were doing that. Or a documentary, right? Well, then they dropped this little sizzle, this this little thing on Disney Plus, and of course now it's on YouTube, of Stan Lee documentary. At first, it just really just showed a lot of clips. There was the thumbnail for it. It just showed a lot of clips of him in the various MCU films. And then it ended with the Stan Lee documentary coming 2023. Now, I have not heard any more of a specific date than that. Uh, I still have just heard 2020. So I don't know if they put out any more information giving a particular time of year that we can expect it. But, you know, look, this isn't a surprise. We knew something like this was coming. But even though we're not surprised and we anticipated this, it's still exciting to see. Look, we don't, we're not surprised every year when Christmas comes around, but I'm still excited for it every damn year. <laughs> anyway, this comes to us from the folks over at Screen Rant who wrote the following. On what would have been Stan Lee's 100th birthday, some surprising news had been revealed. At the end of a sizzle reel comprised of Lee's many MCU cameos, Marvel announced that an original documentary titled Stan Lee is coming to Disney Plus in 2023. According to Marvel, the newly announced documentary will celebrate the life and legacy of Stan Lee, likely featuring archival footage and interviews with the comic book writer over the years. The film will probably start by covering Lee's childhood in New York City as he grew up during the Great Depression and developed an early love of reading and writing. Later in life, Lee would rise through the ranks of a small family-run business called Timely Publications, which, with Stan Lee's help, would later become Marvel Comics. And I, I, listen, I tell you what, I, I obviously grew up a big fan of Stan Lee, like most of you guys. We all grew up as, as fans and finding a lot. But I gained such a deeper appreciation for him. We've talked about this book before. Uh, what was the title of yeah, it? Yeah, the uh, oh. 60 years. It was called I, something, 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 60 years of the Marvel versus DC battle yes. or something like that. Uh, I've talked about the book before. I can't, I don't Block, know why. Not Blockbuster. I'm Slugfest. Slugfest. Slug thank Fest, you. Yes. Yeah. Slugfest was the name. I've talked to you guys about that book. I remember going through Slugfest and going like, I didn't know this. And it just gave me such a deeper appreciation for Stan Lee. I'm, I'm hoping to see a lot of that stuff covered in here as well, because look, I, I mean, his role in the very formations of the comic book industry itself, how it went from a niche little thing like comic books to pop culturally dominant. He was one of the absolute, if not the most driving force behind that. So I'm excited to see this documentary. Anyway, Rob, you saw them finally announce this. Uh, what are your thoughts? Well, I think it'll be fun to see. And 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 like that book Slugfest, there's a lot of there's a lot of great information there. The the thing is though, I mean, look at that guy. Um he still the creation of Marvel Comics was not like Oppenheimer building the atomic bomb. Right. <laughs> you know, students in, in New York in these little rooms in the Marvel bullpen, you know, drawing and writing and it's pretty exciting. I mean, I think I think what I'm really interested in is Stanley became this figurehead and and it wound up in movies, you know, in the Marvel movies and it's it's going to be interesting to watch how something that I'm sure that they didn't they never expected Spider-Man and the X-Men and Captain America, Thor, whatever to become this juggernaut and over the course of well, since Timely turned into Marvel, let's call it I don't know, 60 years of watching that transform i'm really curious as to how did it affect him personally in his life and times and what did it mean to him and i'd love to see them get into that because we've seen him we've seen interviews with him but they're always he's always in showman mode pitch yeah. mode i'd love to know more about him as a dude like i don't know much about stanley's real life outside of marvel and it'd be interesting to find out i'm looking forward to it 
Chris, what are you? Are, are you excited about this? Oh, yeah. were, were you surprised to see this? What are you looking forward oh, to? Oh, not this? surprised at all. I, I feel like this has been in the works for a while now, but I'm really excited about it. You know, I love Stan Lee. You guys know from Weekly Hero that I'm more of a Make My Marvel kind of girl. I really enjoy his work and everything. And I love that he set out to be the next great American novelist and then stumbled into becoming something so much more than that and creating this whole kind of mythos that we're all obviously so engaged in probably much more than than some pieces of great literature this is this is you know the the mecca of ip for so many folks so i'm really looking forward to this and to your point too rob because i've i've met stan lee i had a really nice time talking to him but he was always in that very gregarious yes. showman kind of thing he always was so delightful with fans and everything but i am excited to see a bit of that struggle and everything too and mm -hmm. see how he took this adversity and took his you know rejection letters from literary <laughs> publishers mm -hmm. and how he turned that into something because i think that's really what motivates you is seeing how many no's another person got and how they took that and made it success i love seeing those kinds of stories i i one of my favorite moments like one of the favorite things i've got to do in my career were like hosting the the avengers panel with the avengers cast or hosting a thing being an mc at in hall h at comic-con but like non event sort of thing i i still think to me one of my favorite moments ever that i've things that have allowed me to experience in this job and i don't know if we've got it here yeah there it is i mean i think i've showed this picture before but i got to hang out for an entire evening, I used to throw this party at Comic Con called the Masters of the Web Party, and this was we we had this uh, thing called the AMC uh, Film Fanatic Award, and we gave it out to two people that day. We gave one out to Edgar Wright, uh, who was also at the same party, and to Stan Lee. And I, I still got to pinch myself that I get to say this. Like I'm, I'm, I seriously, I got to sat down. He had a private cabana at our rooftop party. And I got to sit down in this cabana for like an hour with Stan Lee, just hearing him tell stories. He was, you're right, he was a showman. Yeah. But he also was a dude, I don't care how old he was, he loved having a good time. Oh yeah. And he was joking around and having fun and talking to everybody. And he's just, it was one of the coolest experiences I ever got to have. And he was really that, he was just that kind of guy, charming and generous and engaging and, and, and personable and just a, just a super dude. Anyway, guys, question is for you. Are you excited for this Stan Lee documentary? We all knew it was going to be coming, but now that it's tangible, the tangibilization is coming. I'm kind of really excited about it. How are you guys feeling about it? What sorts of things do you want to see them cover in it? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and leave your thoughts there. Guys, we want to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. This holiday season, the best deal in wireless can only be found at Mint Mobile. Right now, when you switch to Mint Mobile and buy any three month plan, you get another three months for free. Mint Mobile lets you order and activate from home with eSIM while saving tons on phone plans starting at just $15 a month. You guys know I've been using Mint Mobile long before this holiday deal and I have to say it is the perfect time to switch. I have absolutely loved using Mint Mobile and like I've told you guys many times, I am now spending less than one third of what I used to spend under one of the other major mobile carriers. And now with the whole buy three months, get three months free deal, it's it's even better. All of their plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and switch easily and effortlessly with eSIM. Or if you need a new device, for a limited time, get six months of free service when you buy a select device and plan. So guys, for a limited time, buy any three-month Mint Mobile plan and get three more months for free by going to mintmobile.com campia. That's Mint Mobile mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia.